Blessed, blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who may today to happen for us to look into the truth world of God. I want to greet every one of us in the precious mighty name of Jesus. Welcome to today's uh, Bible study. Today we are going to look at something that very, very important very very important because without what we are looking into um, no one can make heaven it is very very important that everybody need to know what we are about to look into title the fear of god the fear of god to someone that need to fear God, need to know who God is. If you don't understand who God is, it's a little bit uh, to be difficult for you to know what God, what or capable of doing. And the a mayor, that is when you connect with a mayor unlimited to his mightiness and indeed there is no one that mighty can be compared with God which is very very important one you know he created all things there is nothing on heart is not made by him you can see this one in Col Colossians chapter 1 Colossians chapter 1 let me uh, quickly open it for you and really the way it's been written Colossians chapter 1 look at verse uh, 16 if it says for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in heart visible and invisible whether they've been thrown or dominion of principality of powers all things were created by him and for him you know that he made everything the number the book of number two does the same thing he said i god god speaking there created evil and good but god used everything for his glory and that is when you need to understand the greatness of him and for you to know that you don't need to fear God, not to toy, not near sin. God is most suited, mighty Father, that nothing to compare with Him. In truth, of His mightiness is uncomparable, God. But we are going to really into the deep. The reason why everyone born again through the blood of Jesus Christ must fear him. Even it's not even possible when you're born again, the fear of him make you to accept him. Trust me. Because you are going to see it in the world. The fear of God make you to surrender because then you understand that one he made you to a great you in a great mighty way whereby no other one can do to create you in the form of being created now this is very important and that is why we are going to look at the world the fear of god because anyone who does not fear God will be committing sin. We don't know the danger behind sin. But I don't I want you to look at it, especially in Old Testament, and we will look at it in the New Testament. This is very important. And you will know that it is important for you to fear God. Because it keeps on making you to understand 
when you want to touch sin fear of God come to you you remember the judgment of God you will see that doing what God does not want you to do will lead you to destruction and you will not be destroyed I will not be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ you know the false interesting things I want you to look at is from book of Genesis chapter 20 after God have called after God have called our father Abraham in verse 11 something happened in that place in the journey to promised land to place where God is taking Abraham to something happened and this word came out let me read the word first before I break it down for us Genesis chapter 20 verse 11 says and Abraham said because I thought Surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. Because it thought the fear of God was not there. Because it thought the people have no understanding about mighty God. Because there we need to know someone that fear God does not come in sin. Because Abraham, he felt that in a small people does not fear God, they can do anything they want to do. They can do anything they want to do. Because Abraham he was in Gaza why it was there listen carefully in his approaching i mean he's joining to the gaza but on his way going in approaching to the city ah he was worried about his wife if the people in this city will not have the fear of god they will kill me because of my wife because once I tell them it's my wife, the next thing is to kill me. But for me to save my life, he begged his wife, tell everybody, you are my sister. You are my sister. Because the people in the city does not have the fear of God. This is very important that anyone that knows God does not commit sin because of fear of God. Why do we preach salvation? Because the people does not understand no connect, no know that the fear of God is important for them. Why? The one that, that did not fear God does not know the guide of God. It can lie. It doesn't really matter. It can fornicate. Whatever come to his heart to fulfill the lust of the flesh or whatever flesh demand it will do. But to someone that have God must have God fear. And what fear does, does not let you reach, nor touch what will bring you to judgment before mighty God. It is very important for all children of God to have the fear of God. I repeat again, and Abraham said, Genesis 20, 11, and Abraham said, quote that word very well. And Abraham said, Because I thought, surely the fear of God is not in this place. They will slay me for my wife's sake. They will slay me for my wife's sake. So once people does not have the fear of God, 
is easy for them to commit sin. Because the fear of God kept you away from wrongdoing. Because you know ability of God in his judgment. And you know his holy God. And you have the understanding for you to live in everlasting life. You got it to fear God. Why? Because when you fear him, you will not near sin. Most of people that commit a sin they do not have the fear of God. They are far from fearing God. Meanings they have no connection in understanding of how mighty God is. The Bible would say in righteousness it do a judge it. I want you to listen to this one. This is very, very important. Because we are going to look at the Old Testament today. And if God permit me, definitely I will shift it to the New Testament. But if the time is not going to allow me, because we need to go to the New Testament to see the infirmity of fearing God. You will see when salvation comes to you. When you remember the sin you are committing, you get scared. Fear comes to you of judgment that is going to come upon you. But joy comes when you got to know that someone has died and paid for everything. That all you need to do is to accept him and not allow that nature to come to you any longer this is very important you need to have this understanding that you must come you have to come you have to be connected to that truth and fear of him we begin to govern your heart. You will hate sin. You will have boldness not to commit sin. You will have boldness to reject Satan. That is the purpose of fear. Because once you fear him, believe it, Satan will not be your friend. You're going to create a big you know, gap between you and Satan. And not in fear. Mm -mm. You are not going to fear him. You can only fear God of his judgment. Of truth of who God is. If you look at the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 2. Here it is. That thou mayest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statute and his commandment which I command thee thou and thy son, and thy son's son, all days of thy life, and that thou, and that thy day may be prolonged. You know, this is very interesting. This is very, very interesting. Um, a lot of people do the mistake. No, I'm not going to fear God. It's my father. Why would I fear my father? No, 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 no. It's not that way. The fear of him kept you away from sin. If you look at what Deuteronomy is saying here, so it's for you to keep his status, keep all his commandments. When devil wanting to change your mind, to come to the commandment, to the wrong of Satan, fear grip you. Because you know judgment will follow. Judgment will follow. You got need to fear God. Only Him. A few forgotten the scripture tells us fear only the one who can kill the body and kill the soul and who can give life. It's only mighty God. Satan can only kill this flesh, body. 
Only. You didn't need to fear him. Satan promise. The promises of Satan is to take you to everlasting condemnation in hellfire. If you follow that you've really studied or you go back to go and listen to it of hell you will know that devil is a great deceiver that will trick you into everlasting hellfire because it's going there if you remember most of all that listen to that message you will know that god created that hellfire for satan it's written in the scripture and to one that follow him because when you follow satan you become satanic children if you follow god you have the fear of god in you and you are a child of god the truth about it you have power to rule and to govern over satan not satan a power to govern over you anymore. You become a terror to Satan. Satan will fear you. No you to fear Satan. Fearing him, that means you subject yourself to it. Okay, I'll give you a good example. Why do you think the children of Israel when Saul was a king, when Goliath was challenging everybody, the fear of him made them to subject. No one could write to face him because of fear. Because they don't want to die. And that is how some people fear Satan and become governed over you. It's such a fear to give the fear to God. When you give the fear to God, there is no way how you are going to walk with Satan. Get this clear. I'm going to read verse 6. I mean, chapter 6 of Deuteronomy, verse 2 for you. That thou mayest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandment, which I command thee, thou, and thy son, thy son's son, all days of thy life and that thy day may be prolonged can you see in fearing god that extend your long that bring blessing in fearing god because what god have for you must come to you if you look at david david only one who did not fear goliath is some of the courage all his ringing does not move David. That is why God with him. He fear God. Before he put him down, he made him understand that he is insulting the God of Israel. And indeed. But others, they were all say yes sir, yes sir. No one could challenge him. It could have destroyed them if David is not in their midst. And that is what sin normally does. You that fear sin, you obey, you submit yourself to sin. And sin begins to take position of glory of God in your life. And what sin does is not bringing any good thing than to steal from you than to steal from you so when you fear god god will prolong your life because you will not love sin you will hate sin get it demons and principality will be far from you because you are going to carry a different emblem that they cannot near it is impossible it is it is very very possible for us to fear him without fear god without fearing god you cannot serve god think about it you know if a true child of god 
each time sin approaches you fear grip your heart unless if you are not born again because you understand the result of what that sin is going to bring to you but when the fear of god is not there the fear of man is ruling over you forget it you lose heaven already because men fear will turn you to subject to the command of satan it will make you to turn against the truth of god and that's why i look at many people claim and teaching the word of god they will turn wife to her husband and husband to their wife they didn't do anything that would bring unity than to be telling the world that profitable to the flesh that will make each other happy and begin to neglect themselves hello and those one are eating with satan but the bible called them wolves wolf in garments of sheep they pull the garment of sheep into themselves they apply a kind of wool that sweet look like of sheep but they are wolf you know devil was living in them to destroy to kill and to steal if anybody in your marriage is not bringing two of you together than to bring the word of separation just know it's not from God it's not God between you and your children it's not God it's not God It's not God. There's something I proud Really, it need to be branch of it. I don't want to lift these steps. I was terrified when I heard a man of God speaking such word out of his mouth. Because he was successful. Pride is coming in. And he's thinking, he begin to act like a Nebuchadnezzar. Thinking his wisdom brought him to level that he is. <laughs> because the book had necessarily did it to God and God make him to become animal live in the bush for seven years but Satan always turned the hearts of such people and made them to leave the platform of righteousness and the fear of God and begin to speak the words of self Because of money. Because they are eloquent. Because of education. Devil are putting that for them to break the actual reality of truth of the kingdom of God and begin to subject to war the prophet flesh. That is work of devil. That is work of devil. We need to be very, very careful. God wants you to have this understanding. God wants you to connect with this truth. Deuteronomy chapter 8. And I love this one. Chapter 8 verse 6 says, Therefore, therefore thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord thy God to walk in his way and to fear him. And that is what is ours. The commandment of God make you to understand that this is no go area. Adultery is no go area. Lie is no go area. Stealing is no go area. Whenever a parent or spirit of stealing comes, fear 
of God come to you because you now understand that I need to stand in the truth of God by keeping his commandment get that understanding it is very very important it is very very important there is no one devil have power over expect the one that refuse to keep God's tattoo the book of Proverbs says it says thy word I have kept in my heart that I might not sin against thee by doing what keeping the commandment of God by standing in the right part of God then you will see you will walk in the fear of God is fear of him will rule over you trust me each time you want to commit sin when fear of God come you withdrew you separate you reject it because you have the fear of God knowing that judgment of destruction is coming through it get your understanding we got need to fear him fear God and this only way can keep make you to be able to remain to the top of the sun or when you close your eyes out of this world you will be able to appear the force of throne of God in judgment of righteousness then you can reign with God forever it is very very important for us to understand this it is important you need to know the power of fear of God you need to understand this is the Old Testament we're going to see it in New Testament also but we're still looking at the Old Testament Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12 Deuteronomy chapter 12 verse 12 and now Israel what do the Lord that God require of thee but to fear the law thy God to walk in all his way can you get that to love him to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart with all thy soul hmm. that is requirement of God you know when you have the fear of God every areas of truth of his kingdom will be easy as ABC in you to walk into very easy so that is requirement of that is what the Tarumi chapter 10 verse 12 is making you to order time and now here and now Israel hear this oh and now Israel what do I the Lord that God require of thee but to fear the law the God to walk in all his way to love him and to serve the law thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul hallelujah hallelujah I want you to think about this begin to look at yourself most of things you toy with most of things you put your hand to in your thinking you know a lot of people when you're absent from God they will know when you're absent from God and you have to really keep you in a way whereby you will begin to forget the title of God and once your heart 
is being totally separate separated from that truth he put his own loss into you don't blame satan the door a lot of people are open to satan in the kingdom is what make them to lose their blessings from god trust me trust me because god have already make you to remember to understand that is fear that is what you need to have my god my god my god let us understand this god is waiting for you god is watching over you god wants you to stand in truth of his kingdom for satan not to take away your blessings out of you and you know the funny part of it let me just say this briefly when you begin to fail god here that is how you're going to fail yourself in heaven that is how you're going to fail yourself in heaven once you begin to fail god failing god is not keeping the commandment of god anything your flesh is demanding for is what you give into your flesh they ask you to go and smoke cocaine yes if they ask you to smoke we yes if they ask you to smoke cigarette yes if they ask you to lie yes if they ask you to kill yes no the fear of god will make you to have irritation hatred towards sin because you know when you accept it is to destroy you is taking you away from the fullness of present of mighty god let's look at deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 25 deuteronomy 11 25 there shall no man be able to stand before you for the lord your god shall lay the fear of you and dread of you upon all the land that ye shall tread upon and he had said unto you can you see that enemy have to fear you satan have to fear you believe what i tell you believe it they don't have choice they have to fear you enemy will not have right to take what belongs to you because you have the fear of god in you and you'll be able to live according to god purpose the order of establishment of victory and not challenges is already established in those who fear God why a lot of people fail why some people fail because they refuse the fear of God you may say how when the anger is ruling over you where you need to listen you don't listen where you need to be submissive you don't submissive where you need to be gentle you don't gentle you are very aggressive you don't patient you don't listen to truth you don't walk according to the way and the will of mighty god listing listing have the fear of god let me tell you something when the fear of god is in you it's easy for you to live victorious life i'm telling you no kingdom of devil have power you can see the happening 
but you will tell the happening where it belong easy simple to those who have the fear of God the power of fearing God is power of victory the power to dominate all things that surround you don't listen to people that say oh it's my father I cannot fear him no 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 if you don't have the fear of God you will stumble out of truth and you will find yourself in destruction watch most of people that say I didn't need to fear my father you know it's a lie they are committing sin they don't want their secret doing to be exposed no they walk in intelligence of man look at what proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 says Say, the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge but the fool despise and the fool despise wisdom and instruction but the fool but fool despise wisdom and instruction it's time to get this time the truth of his kingdom is making you to know the accuracy of truth of god in fearing god if anyone is telling you don't fear god it's your father no They are changing you to fear of Satan. Because Satan must obey you. And the scripture made you ought to understand that his power is nothing. Say, fight him. He shall fool. He knows. That is why he used the spirit of fear to any circumstances that you have. Fear will grip your heart. How will I get this money? How will I do this? How will I get food? How will I? But when you are with God, the fear of God, governing your heart, the provision will be available. The answer will come. Hallelujah. Look at what verse 29, chapter 1 of Proverbs says. Chapter 1, verse 29. For that for that they hate knowledge, can you hear that? And did not choose the fear of God. For that they hated knowledge. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the law. Once you refuse <laughs> to hate the truth. The wisdom, the knowledge. I'm telling you, Satan will give you your own knowledge, his own knowledge, and you begin to think you are getting wise, and the fear of God will not come on you. You find yourself do whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, and truth will be far from you, and you keep on finding yourself in series of stumbling. And it will now blind your eyes not to see the light because you are far from truth, the fear. Far from fear of God. Fear God! You need to fear Him. You need to fear Him. Here, verse chapter 2 of Proverbs, verse uh, 5. Then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Woo! It comes to those who fear Him. God knowledge. It's not of things of this world. It's talking about the Spirit of God, a manifesting in the greater beyond measure of understanding of men. It's not what you can use the application of knowledge of men to compare. No. You got that in education. Not in the spirit of God. Proverbs. 
chapter let me look at chapter 10 because of our time Proverbs chapter 10 verse 27 hear this hear this oh my god no, let me read chapter 9 verse 10 I will come back to that verse 10 please let's look at chapter 9 of Proverbs verse 10 chapter 9 verse 10 it said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the and the knowledge of the holy is understanding Gather. let me now read chapter 10 verse 27 it said the fear of the Lord prolonged day but the year of the wicked shall be shortened the year of the wicked shall be shortened that is why God will destroy whoever that standing to shorten the glory of God in you their power will surely be destroyed because God has to do it He need to prove himself. He only be on the path of the righteous one. Look at what chapter 14 of Proverbs verse 26 says. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence and its children shall have a place of refuge. Ooh. Why God will not keep you? answers for you to escape any plan devil apply to destroy you a place of refuge is waiting for you because you fear God David can stand against Goliath a place of refuge was waiting for him and the power of God was standing beside him what is nothing what people doesn't see to be a sore can, can really pull man down god turned into a mighty a mighty magic gun a tall hood goliath it it was totally down my my jesus my my god my great god the truth and power of his glory is established upon those who fear him fear god fear god we are going to continue this message next week if jesus christ started i'm expecting you to join the class next week be part of it let us pray father i want to thank you i gave a praise for this time i magnify your holy name thank you for revealing the truth of your kingdom in your fear to them lord i pray let your fear remain in them for them to be able to achieve your purpose in their life in the name of jesus christ every area you are struggling I command in the name of Jesus Christ receive your freedom right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ thank you father in Jesus precious redeemer I pray amen see you next week <laughs>